What's up everyone, this is JC and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what's in my camera bag, my Micro Four Thirds camera bag. All right, so I've been taking, well, much more photos recently and I've been getting a lot more questions about what camera gear I'm using. And um, so let's jump into that. I'll, I'll show you exactly what it is that I'm using. So let's start off with the bag itself. I recently just got this bag and I love it. It's the um, Low Pro one Messenger Bag 150. I think the name actually says back here. Yeah, so the Event Messenger 150. And um, the bag's pretty awesome and it's pretty cheap as well. Um, I had a book bag style bag before, but it was just too bulky. And since I switched to Micro Four Thirds, um, it didn't make sense to carry it, that huge bag and I'm not really carrying a lot of equipment. So with that said, um, this bag is an awesome switch and as well as waterproof so you can definitely just pour water or if it starts raining everything's just gonna run right off so the bag is really nice and um, I guess it's like a really good uh, nylon as well and everything this bag probably weighs about a pound and a half if that so let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside alright so we have the flaps and um, this is it looks pretty bare. All right, so we're gonna set this to the side. I'm just working from the top up. This is my. Let's see if I can take the dead cat off. Holy crap, it's in there tight. All right, whatever. So this is a uh, the Rode Mic Micro, I believe. Video Rode Mic Micro. Um, this is if I'm doing more, you know, YouTube videos or if it's just run and gunning. Um, this microphone cuts out everything. It's really sharp, and you know. I use it in conjunction in conjunction with my um, G7, so I definitely recommend this mic. It's amazing and it's really cheap. There's only you can get on Amazon for about 45 bucks, 50 bucks, something like that. So that's what I use for video. All right, so then moving down to my first body, I have the Panasonic G7, and this honestly. <laughs> made me like Micro Four Thirds even more. Before I had the GX85, which was really nice, but the grip and the, the ergonomics with this camera is really amazing. And it shoots 4K and it's just, it's an amazing camera. You guys could look it up. There's a bunch of reviews on it. So this is mainly, um, right now how I, ha how I have it set up with the lens is my portrait setup. And this is the Olympus 45 F1.8 and um, it's amazing this the setup alone shoots it's butter <laughs> it's really is it's awesome so this is my portrait setup um, just shooting ambient lighting and stuff I don't carry any flash with me um, recently I only use I've only been using flash for events and um, that's for when I need to carry the equipment I'll use my other bag but for every day uh, just walking around running gunning this is the bag I'm going to all right so this is the first camera Reaching down to the second pocket, I have this <laughs> amazing camera also, which is super, super cheap. This is the Olympus um, EP1. It was released in, I think, um, 2009, if I'm not mistaken. But um, the camera's pretty old in technology terms. There's been a lot of improvements to Micro Four Thirds. But this was, this camera I got for 50 bucks, I could not pass it up. And I have it, whoops. Um, right now I have it with the Sigma 19, um, 19 millimeter f2.8, so equivalent to about 38 or so, something like that. It's basically a 35 millimeter, um, lens. Um, for being an only 12 megapixel camera, the Sigma glass really makes it seem like it's shooting with like a lot more, uh, megapixels than resolution. I don't know if that even makes sense to you guys. Um. With this setup, this is basically my walk around um, street photography camera. It's really light. It's, I mean, it's tiny, if you can already tell. And um, again, for 50 bucks, this camera has been my go to. And I basically am only using the G7 exclusively now just to record my YouTube videos. I kind of strayed away from it. But not saying that it's not good. This is much better than this camera. But I just. I guess the simplicity of this camera, since it doesn't offer a lot, it really like brings me kind of like as if I'm shooting film again. But 
So this is the second body. Let me, I'm going on a rant. And then let's see what else we have here. Going into this little pocket. This is another glass I have from Sigma. It's the 30 millimeter F 2.8 art lens. So it's just like this one, except this is equivalent of a 60 millimeter. And this is just, I guess, the between the 40, the 90 millimeter and my 35. Just to say, I guess I have almost a 50 millimeter, but I really don't use it just because I have both this and this. And if I'm going to shoot portraits, I'm just going to use a 45 or the 90 instead of just using a 60. So, all right, continuing. Let's see what else I got in here. And towards the bottom. Um, this is just the kit lens that came with the G7. I know it's just a kit lens, but the kit lens that, that Panasonic has been releasing, they're extremely sharp. And the range that they're giving you is amazing. So this is a 14 to 42. So micro four thirds is an equivalent to 28 to 84. So if it's a really bright day and I don't feel like switching lenses or I don't feel like you know getting too close to my subject, I'll probably just throw this kit lens on just so I can have a, a wide range and I don't need to worry about switching glass. But again, I rarely, I, I rarely just use this lens, but it's good to have nonetheless. Oh look, I took both off. That's weird. All right, so we're gonna put this back. What is going on? Alrighty. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Oh, thanks. Take a look at the help section in your <laughs> Alexa app. Thanks, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. All right, so continuing with this before we got rudely interrupted by Alexa. All right, what do we got here? Front pocket. All right, whoa. All right, so basically they're just for the, the lens caps that are currently on the bodies of the the cameras. Just gonna set that aside there. Loop. Um, right here. This is just my Mophie charger. Um, for the iPhone 7. This is what I'm, I'm currently recording with the iPhone 7 if anyone's wondering for quality purposes or anything like that. And um, I just have a pen. This is for SD cards but I just have, oh I don't have any. Normally I'll carry like an adapter for um, the SD card if I just need to upload something. Um, so yeah just a pen. And I've been like, well I've been enjoying having this in my bag these are just fairy lights so um, they're really fun to use especially like if it's a rainy day so you can't go outside and shoot or whatever um, you can get really creative and do some cool shots with this I recently just took some and um, yeah you can get this really cheap on like the wish app for like a buck or two they're really cool so let's see whoops turn that off all right let's see if I have anything else and nope Alright, so that's about it. So I have two bodies and um, four lenses in this setup and it weighs about a pound and a half. And with this, I can shoot basically anything I, I really want. And that's the great thing about Micro Four Thirds and why I stress it to all of my friends or anyone that asks me what camera they should be getting into. I recommend this because it's super lightweight and you can basically take any type of photography and there's an awesome lens selection. So with that being said, this is what's in my Micro Four Thirds bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.